Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny. It's a long time no see. I have been gone for months now, like at least three, I think. My video space is different from what it was in earlier videos because Ryan and I have bought a house. So this is our new home. We've been here since the end of July. And um, it is kind of still messy. I am still working. I really don't like over here how you can like see my back and stuff. So that might move somewhere. Uh, but so this room is still like in work in progress. So I thought today, since it's been a really long time, we could just kind of play with some new makeup. I have bought some makeup throughout my period, not on YouTube, um, but I figured those releases were kind of old and I didn't really want to do those now. Um, but I did just get something very exciting. I got my items from ColourPop part of the Raw Beauty Christie collection. I got the At Forest Sight eyeshadow palette and I got two of the Super Shock shadows as well. And I am also going to be playing around with some new flower items that I found at CVS. I didn't know flower was anywhere other than Walmart. I knew they were at Ulta, so I did know that, but I did not know they were coming to CVS. So the few items that I have, one is the watercolor eye tint. I have it in the shade Blush Wash. The Powder Play Lip Color in the shade, there's a stamp on top of the shade name. I think it's Tease. This is a product I've wanted to try for a while from them, and this is the Blush Bomb Color Drops and I have it in the shade Pinched. And I also have the, what is this called? The Skinny Micro Brow Pencil. I have mine in the shade Brunette. I have tried two of these products actually, and it was the blush and the liquid shadow. I'm not gonna be playing with the liquid shadow today because I do have all these others. So I am gonna go ahead and just jump right in. This is gonna be kind of first impression slash reviews. I have tried two of these already. Um, they're not really full reviews, more of kind of like first impressions because I've used them like once. <laughs> the first one's the eye tint. First off, the packaging on this is glass and it's like really heavy and feels really luxurious. The other ones aren't though, so I think it's kind of weird that this is glass, but the rest of it's like the the simple plastic. Um, but this one is very, very beautiful. I think that the packaging's really pretty. And then you can, of course, see the color through the bottom. It's a doe foot applicator, like one of the pointed ones. And this is very, very thin and watery in consistency. I mean, it is called watercolor, but it's just like a sheer wash of color. If you want any pigmentation to come onto your eyes at all, you have to build and build and build. And it doesn't, it doesn't dry down immediately, so it does transfer, but then it doesn't blend well either. I found it very hard to work with, but once I got it to kind of built up, I did think it was really pretty. To me, it's just a lot of work. I will continue to play with it and I may or may not do a favorites video. I haven't done one of those in a very long time. Um, so that could be fun. But uh, first impressions, I was kind of just meh about this. It does look really, really pretty in a swatch. This is the most neutral color they had. I wish they had more of like a champagne or a gold because I would wear that more often than this uh, like petal pink. But it is very, very pretty. So I will do a wear test and like wear it to work, kind of see how that plays out. So I am going to demo this product, but I did already play with it because once I got it home, like, because you know how fluorescent lighting can be in a store, I thought that this was more, um, rosy. I thought this was more pink rose kind of shade. And when I got it home, it was, like, pretty orange, like a burnt orange. And I was like, I don't know that that's going to look good on me. But I played with it, and it looks really, really beautiful. So I am going to demo this one today. But so now I am just going to go ahead and jump into the Raw Beauty Christie things. We will just kind of open them and look at them. And I will probably swatch toward the end. So the eyeshadow palette, like aesthetic, is absolutely beautiful and phenomenal. Before I even saw the eyeshadows, I was like, oh, the packaging is stunning. My friend, I actually was going to buy this for a friend of mine because she like loves mushrooms. She's obsessed with them. And um, <clears throat> she wouldn't ever wear any of these colors. She might wear some of these super, super shocks. So I may get one of those for her for Christmas. Anyway, so this is what the package looks like. This is the unit carton very very beautiful the eyeshadow palette i did already open the box the eyeshadow palette looks exactly the same really beautiful i love how the mushrooms and the words kind of like shine off of the background same on the back as well with the shade names and then here is the inside very very beautiful color selection in here i'm loving this corner like the pinky reddish kind of colors so here are the super shock shadows that i got in person, they do look very similar, so I am gonna have to swatch them to compare. I love the packaging, how it is like a jade emerald green, 
And I love the little mushroom. I don't even think you can see it and my camera doesn't autofocus, unfortunately, but there is a cute little mushroom there. This is the shade, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, Mycelum, I think. Uh, she mentions it in her videos and stuff. This is kind of like a goldy kind of copper almost. And then this one is Olympic and it is just more of a gold. So this one's a little more gold and then this one's a little more rosy copper. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead off camera, do the base and things like that until I get to where I need to do the liquid blush. And then I will come back and we will do everything else. So let me do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I have the primer, uh, I used a BB cream and a concealer on. And so since this is a cream product, I am gonna go in with the blush. And I'm just gonna put like a tiny little swirl here and here. I guess it's more than a tiny swirl. I'm gonna just take my sponge and just like this flat end, I'm just gonna bounce it into the skin. I think it's really pretty for now that it's like verging on winter because it kind of looks like that fresh flush like that you just came out from like building a snowman or whatever. Um, I do take a tiny bit on my nose. I think it looks cute. Maybe it doesn't. I feel cute when I do it, so that's all that matters. I am gonna go in and add a little more concealer over here though. I think I went a little too heavy on this side, just right, right there. I think I put it a little too high. Um, but I think that the product is really, really beautiful. It just looks really natural. I don't wanna do too much. I know I'm looking at my viewfinder. It doesn't look like I did anything to my face, but I think in my personal opinion, that's what I like. If I'm wearing makeup, most of the time, not all the time. Um, especially these days, if I do wear makeup, which it is very rare um, in the current climate that we're in with the pandemic, I've just been in a really, really like blah mood. Um, I haven't wanted to wear makeup or play with makeup or anything, but this collection really, really inspired me. Uh, so I was really excited about that. But so I just do really, really light makeup and like I really honestly don't wear base makeup all that much, especially these days, because you know, I wear a mask over my face when I go to work. So yeah, but I do think that this blush is really, really beautiful, but I am gonna go ahead and um, finish the rest of my face because I don't have any other face products and then come back and we'll do the eyebrows. Okay, so now we are going into brows and again, the Flower Beauty uh, Skinny Micro Brow. I have mine in the shade Brunette. What's interesting about this is it has um, like a little brush on the end instead of a spoolie. Um, kind of like the, is it the Fenty? brow pencil that has that? I think it is. But so I'm going to use a spoolie just to kind of comb the brow hairs into place. And I did swatch this on the back of my hand and it feels really, really creamy. And I personally don't really like a creamy brow pencil. I feel like it can get real smeary real easy, but we of course are going to try it. So far, I really don't like the brush. I feel like it doesn't do anything at all to help um, blend the product or anything. So I like the color. I think the color is really nice. It's cool, not too red or anything. My issue I'm having is it's like I get a spot filled in and then my brow hairs like clump together, like, cause you know, this is a creamier product. And then when I use like the spoolie, cause like I said, I really don't like this brush. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, I don't like the brush at all. Yeah, I don't like the formula of this either. It is really creamy and like over on this brow, I have like some natural bald spots that just brow hairs just don't grow. And so like my NYX brow pencil, for example, my all time favorite, it's a stiffer formula. And so I'm able to kind of get those brow like strokes where this is kind of where it's creamy, I'm assuming is the issue. It's like mixing in with my um, concealer and foundation and stuff up here. And it's just getting kind of weird because it's like I have to overdraw this brow over here to make it look like the other one. Okay, so I don't think the eyebrows look bad. I am going to stop because it's like every stroke I make makes it worse. Um, they don't look bad, but I can see some spots that just aren't filled right. So um, not my favorite formula. If you do prefer a creamier brow formula and you wanted to try that little brush, I mean, maybe go for it and try it. I do 
I don't remember how much this stuff was, but it was not like cheap though. Uh, but it wasn't CVS. CVS is always higher. So I did go ahead and prime my eyelids and set the, um, set the primer with a just like skin tone shadow. I am going to play with these pinkier shades down here and I might throw a blue on the lower lash line or something maybe, I'm not sure. I did buy her first collab with Pure that came out earlier this year and I wanted to kind of compare the two. They are completely different. I will say that they are completely different but I personally see some similarities. So like here are here's the neutral side compared to her palette and then here is the colorful side. Obviously this is much brighter in tone than this one but I can kind of see some similarities within the top row of neutrals and then of course um, the pops of green and like the reddish shades. So obviously they are not different but when I saw it it reminded me of that palette that she did. So I am going to go into the shade Old Growth it's nice dusty pink and I'm just going to put this in the crease and outer V. I am not going to do some crazy looking shape or anything I've never done before. I want to do my eyeshadow like I would with any other palette and I'm really disappointed in my eyelids because there's only like one shape of shadow um, that looks good on my eye shape because it's like puffy hooded. I don't even know. It's not necessarily hooded but it's just droopy and hangs over my lid, but it's not, I don't know. It's a sad time. So only one real look, like shape, looks good for me. Uh, so that's what I plan to do. The palette is making a little bit of kick up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's not anything worse than any other color pop palette though. So I'm like not alarmed by it. Kick up's not a big issue to me though. Oh. <laughs> Unless it's like an ungodly amount of kick up that's like you put your brush into the pan and then you can see the bottom of the pan or something. I don't know. That's never happened before. So uh, kick up's not an issue to me, but if it is for you, just know that this shade does have kick up and I would imagine the rest of them do too. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I know that everything happening in the world is depressing and sad, but I hope that you are pushing through it and I hope you are healthy and doing well. So just like a life update, I guess I could do that in this video. Like I said earlier in this video, we did buy a house. Um, I was furloughed or laid off or whatever terminology you want to use at the beginning of May due to lack of work because of the pandemic. And literally that weekend, like I was laid off on like May 2nd. And then that weekend we came and looked at this house for like the 15th time. And then we realized that was the day like that was the day that we realized that this was the house we wanted to buy. And so then fast forward to the end of July and that's when we closed on the house. God, it took forever and it was like we had a hundred thousand hoops to jump through. And at some point I didn't even think we were going to get it. I thought the sellers were going to be like, bye Felicia because you're taking too long and this is ridiculous. But it's funny. We looked at the house like the day after I was laid off and we moved our stuff in the day before I went back to work. That's how long this process took. So that was ridiculous. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Rainier right here and just kind of put that in the same spot to deepen. My dad, he is going to paint the walls and like the ceilings are painted the same color as the walls. I'm not thrilled about that. So he is going to paint the ceilings white and then paint the walls a different color that I have picked out. And he's doing that like next week or something. So that's exciting. So now on a smaller brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Amatina, Amanita, Amanita, I think. Um, and it has a little asterisk by it. And so that on the back of the palette is not intended for use in the immediate eye area. So I'm assuming this is more of a pigment than a shadow, but I personally don't have issues with that. I'm liking this purpley red kind of combo here. But anyway, so then I got a cap. I'll throw a picture up here since apparently she's never going to make an appearance. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen her. Um, she's an angel. She's literally an angel from heaven. Like she's the sweetest cat I have ever owned in my entire life. She wants to cuddle all the time. She's like an angel and I love her. 
She does have an Instagram and I'll list that down below as well. <laughs> so this is beautiful. I love how this looks. I do just want to take a little bit of this chanterelle. And I just want to kind of put this in the crease to kind of warm it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Makes it a little more orangey in the crease instead of more pinky. I just want to take a tiny bit of homegrown here and just kind of like run that right here on the inner corner, the inner corner, the outer corner, like lash line area, just to kind of deepen it up a smidge. I'm going to kind of just do it haphazardly. Oh, that one has lots and lots of kick up. <sighs> that one was a little alarming. Yeah, this is beautiful. I might wear this to work on Monday, assuming I get up in enough time. I think just for fun, I'm going to take a pencil brush and start with the shade Fiddlehead, which is like the cutest freaking name in the entire world. I'm just gonna run that on the lower lash line for just like an added pop of color. I'm also going to go into a little bit of Emerald City and I'm going to run that on the outer part of the lower lash line just to kind of deepen that up. So I kind of like blended it up into like this area here, kind of giving it like an underwing kind of look. I think that looks kind of cool. And so, what does this look like? <gasps> that is beautiful. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade, which is evergreen, that kind of really pretty duochrome. I just wanna put that like right here. Just a tiny bit to kind of overlap that other shade and add like a little bit of light and dimension down here. I'm going to take the shoot Super Shock in the shade Olympic. It is an ultra glitter finish. I'm just gonna take it on my finger. Oh gosh, that's stunning. This is really more of a topper because it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. It's mostly just shimmer, but that's fine with me. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Okay, so I am done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go do some eyeliner and mascara, and we'll be right back. So the eye look is completely finished for the liner. I use the pure on point eyeliner and down to earth on the top waterline. And then I have the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade Fastlane. It is like a dark forest green on the lower lash line. I think it complements really, really well. Last product I am going to use is the uh, Flower Beauty Powder Play Lip Color in the shade Tease. This is one of the powder lip products uh, that kind of was a trend a little while ago. I've never played with one of these before. I did swatch it and it is very strange and just kind of like clumpy and if if you blow on it, it blows away. So I'm not sure what to expect. So here we go. It's really, it's like, oh, that's so weird. Once you put it on your lips, it's like it's wet. Oh, it feels very strange. So it's almost like a matte. Oh, it tastes really freaking weird. Ugh, that's really pretty. Of course, I don't know how it wears, but it looks really nice. It's not fully matte, but it's also not super shiny. It just feels really, really strange on the lips though. But so this is the final look. I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. Um, the eye look is absolutely stunning. I like can't quit looking at it. It makes me feel really, really pretty and really good, which I haven't felt that in a, kind of, not like a long time, but like, I just, I don't have the motivation to get up and do makeup in the morning because a lot of the times like, what's the point? I'm putting on a mask and like doing my whole face is like kind of what makes me happy. I feel weird when I just go out with brows and eyeshadow most of the time. So I don't really do that often, but I feel really good. I think this looks really, really beautiful. And I'm really happy with how most of the products performed. I'm not, as of now, the eyebrow pencil was the uh, 
the weakest link here. So now that I did the demo of all of my products, I do just wanna go ahead and swatch all of these because I do love swatching eyeshadows. And I will just go row by row. So first off is Puffball. Really pretty. It's like it's neutral, but it leans warm. Chanterelle. Rainier. And Old Growth. All mattes. Very beautiful. This is the row that I get the most um, like similarities from comparing to her pure collaboration. Next we have Evergreen, which is literally the, it's, oh gosh, look at that. Brown to gold to, to green. We then have West Coast, which is a very vibrant gold. Homegrown. And then we have Amanita, I think I'm saying that right, which is definitely like a plum. Beautiful, beautiful shades. All right, so the last row, we have Fiddlehead. I'm gonna do a better swatch of Fiddlehead. Really pretty, just kind of mossy green. And then we have Emerald City, which is of course a emerald green. We then have PNW, stands for Pacific Northwest. Really pretty like deep teal, I think. And then we have Let It Rain, which is like a black with what looks like reddish copper shimmer. I personally hate, I hate matte shadows that have shimmer in it, but this one doesn't seem too bad. The shimmer is not like chunky glitter. It is just more of a shimmer. And now that I've swatched it, you can really kind of see that in that shadow there in the top corner. And here's the last row. So both of these are ultra glitter formulas. This first one is Olympic, the more champagne-y shade that I did use today. And then the second one is Mycelum, I think. And it is more of a champagne gold and they are absolutely lovely. I'm very excited for Christy. She's one of my favorite YouTubers like ever. I think she's so genuine and so lovely as a human being. 2020 has gotta be someone's year. So I'm just glad that it's Christy's with her two collaborations. She's got a baby on the way. Very, very exciting things happening for her and I'm just so happy for her. So that has been my kind of first impressions. Get ready with me, I guess. This is what we were gonna call this. Um, I do wanna make a little tiny announcement about my channel. This was the first makeup purchase I've made in a very long time, probably since her last collaboration in July. Is that correct? So I can't remember if I've bought anything between here and there. I probably have. But where I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I'm not really buying a lot of makeup. Nothing's really jumping out at me. I'm not really excited about a lot of things, really. So I'm not really buying a whole lot of makeup. Therefore, I can't really make a lot of content that's makeup based. So I am thinking about shifting my content a little bit to be a little bit more just kind of whatever I'm feeling. Makeup is not my only hobby and my only interest. I do like certain video games. I've thought about doing some like Animal Crossing sim related content. I like embroidery. I have plants. I was going to do like a plant tour. If that's a thing, I don't know. Introducing you to my plants. They all have names. Might as well be people. So I thought about kind of incorporating plants. I don't know. I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of scared to do that because I know the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like that. They like you to be in like a niche kind of thing. <laughs> So I don't really know. I am kind of nervous just because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just nervous about it, okay? But so if you have any ideas that you would like to see from me, makeup related, not makeup related, uh, just let me know. I am up for suggestions. So just let me know down in the comments. It does feel good to be filming again though. So I do want to upload some content. But anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, please feel free. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.